Bill, thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule of running the world to sit down and talk with us today. It's good to see you, buddy. Good to see you. Thank you. Now, I've seen some pictures of you floating around the internet lately, and as the world's leading health authority, it looks like you're in tremendous shape. Have you been working out lately? Absolutely. I even saw this one that Elon posted. It, you wouldn't want to underestimate Elon. I never do. Now, the past year, life has changed for you. You've been busy trying to vaccinate the whole world, but you also went through a divorce, and now your partner in crime at the NIH, Dr. Fauci, has stepped down from his position. Do you miss him? No, he was a, a bad person. Oh, well, <laughs> good riddance to him, I guess. <laughs> Now, something that I imagine has got to be hard for you. There's always controversies on the internet floating around about you. Obviously all crazy conspiracy theories that I would never believe, but when they're able to slip through the censorship, you, your motives, and your work with vaccines are criticized. That is a very weird thing, that just because I support vaccines to save millions of lives, people are saying, no, I, you know, I make money from vaccines. That is egregious. I'm offended on your behalf that people think you make money from vaccines. But just trying to understand why these crazy nut jobs would believe these things, it's possible that these people came across information like how you invested $55 billion in BioNTech, the company that makes the Pfizer vaccine. And that was in 2019, right before the pandemic, which that was really good timing. And they might've also seen that at the end of 2022, you sold that stock for $550 million. You 10 extra money. <laughs> That's a pretty good return. Yeah, big, big return. <laughs> right? But the point is that when these crazy conspiracy theorists see how vaccines make you a lot of money, they could jump to the false conclusion that you make money from vaccines. By the way, what was the reason for you dumping all your BioNTech stock at the end of last year? For avoiding most of the damage. What else bothers you about all the misinformation online written about you? That I'm trying to, you know, cause death or track or uh, a lot of strange stuff. Um, hard to understand why that is. What? People think you want to track them? <laughs> that is hard to understand why. I don't know. They probably got confused from your Ask Me Anything session on Reddit back in 2020 when you called for a national tracking system. Mm. Uh, People are so stupid, Bill. I don't know. Is there anything else about all the Bill Gates controversy online that bothers you or strikes you as weird? It's been weird that, you know, vaccines have been attacked as, you know, being overall net negative or there's some conspiracy here. Yeah, hearing people make the false claim that vaccines have been an overall negative really bothers me too. And while these things do very little to protect people, they seem to be doing a tremendous job at helping reduce the population, which that's an overall positive. I mean, we've had tens of millions of deaths. Dude, congrats. And that has saved millions of lives. Countless lives saved. Man, I'll tell you, it takes a very intelligent human to understand how reducing the world's population saves lives. <laughs> Oh, and side note, I really loved your 2015 TED Talk, by the way. And uh, do you know the actual statistics on the vaccine's rate of effectiveness? Yeah, the lethality, uh, you know, ends up being about 0.3%. Honestly, I think those numbers could be better. But there's a downside to population control. Some people say that killing people is, like, immoral. And when you eliminate a problem, and in this case, the problem is, well, living people, they leave behind families that are grieving in a lot of pain. How do you handle that, knowing there's so many people out there in so much pain because like their mother or father is dead? I don't think delving into the particulars at this point is, is constructive, but yes, uh, I um, caused pain and I, I feel terrible about that. I don't think you should feel terrible. I think you should take solace in knowing that when those grieving family members realize how much less carbon is gonna be emitted into the world because their mother or father is dead, they're gonna be happy about it. 
But when you look at the legalities of it, killing people is a little bit of a gray area. And I know the legalities of that is just a bunch of government bureaucracy, but you've managed to stay above the law and not get caught. This was a, a very tough thing. But it's a serious matter, Bill. If you're not careful, you could get caught. So we take it seriously. Oh, well, that makes me feel better knowing you're being careful. Hey, congrats, by the way, did you know when you Google who is the world's best doctor, your name comes up? And considering that you're not even a doctor, achieving the status as the world's best doctor? That, my friend, is quite the accomplishment. A real underdog story. I hope there's no body language experts watching this. For your sake, of course. Now, you as the world's leading doctor, who's in stellar shape, by the way, you're always dictating health advice to people. Now, for the skeptics out there, why should people listen to you and your health advice? You know, I, I don't think of myself as an expert. I uh, should be very humble about, you know, success, uh, you know, has a, a tricky aspect to it. Um, so, you know, I don't, I don't have great advice for other people. Really? You don't have any great advice? Okay. Well, aside from being a doctor, are there any other professions that you pretend to be? Well, in firefighting, we're all trained to know that, you know, there's the exit. <laughs> You're not a firefighter either. But you have faced quite a bit of heat about your relationship with one Jeffrey Epstein. Melinda even said that's one of the reasons why she left your ass. So I'm wondering, what are your thoughts on your friendship with Jeffrey Epstein? I certainly made a huge mistake, uh, not only meeting him in the first place, but uh, I met with him a number of times. Yeah, people just have a real hard time looking past all his work and sex trafficking young girls to high profile people. And we love that work. Ah, I think we should uh, end right here while we're ahead, Bill. And um, maybe we should also have your lawyers review this footage before we release any of it. All right. Hey, after this, I'm going to go rewatch a movie if you want to join me. It's called Died Suddenly. Have you seen it? Absolutely. Pretty good, right? It's about your work. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you on next video.